This is Dijkstra's algorithm visualized. So what we have here is the graph that we're going to traverse. Here we have a table with uh, information that we're going to keep relevant and keep updating, updating along the way. So here we have all the names of the nodes. And here we have the distance, which represent the currently known shortest distance from A, which is our starting node. So for, of course, for A, that's zero, but for all the other ones, that's currently infinity. And parent is the parent node we use to derive that distance. Uh, down here, we have the open and closed nodes. So basically an open node is one we have yet to explore. And a closed one is one where we can say with 100% certainty that we know the shortest distance to it from A. Uh, these are also sometimes called visited and unvisited. Um, so yeah, we have selected A, let's get started. So A has two children that we can explore. We start with B. And here it says zero plus five is equal to five. And zero we get from the parent, so A. And five we get from the edge here. And that's equal to five. And it says down here that that is less than infinity. And that's important because that's a previous value we had. So we're gonna update our table with a more optimal distance uh, than the previous infinity. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing with the other child, C, which gets a distance of two. And uh, now we can close A, and now we need to select a new node. And the one we select is the one with the, it's an open node, and it's the one with the smallest known distance. So that's C, because it has a very small distance, and it's one of these open ones. So C only has one child, which is E. So we explore E, and uh, here we get two from C and seven from the edge, and that is nine, and that is less than infinity. So we fill in our table. Um, and now we select a new node and we close C, that's important. And now we select a new node, which is B. And B has three children. And what's interesting here is it has one children, which is closed. And that means we're not gonna explore it because we have like the perfect solution. We have an optimal solution for C, so we're gonna skip that. Uh, so we're going to look into D and we find a distance of nine, which is better than what we currently have. Then we're going to look into E and what's happening here is that we're going to find a distance of seven, which is less than nine. So it's no longer infinity. So this is a value that we previously had. So we're optimizing a previous path and kind of finding a better way to get there. Um, and here E we select E and that has one child, which is F. Uh, and here we get a distance of eight, which is less than infinity. And now we only have one open node left, which is D. And um, it has one closed child, so we don't look into that. F uh, we look into, but we do have a problem, which is that our kind of offer from D, which is 12, is not less than what we currently have. And what needs to be in this table is the most optimal information. So we're not going to update this table uh, using these kind of proposal. Uh, but what we have now, now we're done traversing the uh, graph. So we have closed all the nodes. What we have now is an optimal table with uh, the distances from A, the optimal distances for all nodes. And we also have the parent. So we can backtrack if, if we're interested. So I'm interested in F. And I can see that E is kind of the optimal parent. And for E, the optimal parent is B. And for B, the optimal parent is A. And here I can draw out the optimal path that I derived using Dijkstra's algorithm. And the distance is eight. Dijkstra's algorithm doesn't work with negative weights. And if you want to find out why, you can watch my next video.